Yesterday, I did not get done everything I wanted to get done. It's like the only thing keeping me sane. And so I'm very optimistic about Thursday's meeting, which I'm going to Stewart for. Call her Colbert. Things could change really, really fast. Hope I remembered everything. Happy Monday. I am in the office today at Chloe and Darren's house because I have a call at 11.30 with someone. So I am just going to eat my fried rice really quick because I'm starving. It's like 11.10 right now and then get ready to hop on that call. I just took a shower. Yesterday I did not get done everything I wanted to get done, but I did get a lot done. It was Sunday. I planned out my entire week, which like I go through my notion and I take out things from last week that I didn't finish and I put in things that I still need to finish. And I was planning on recording yesterday to kind of show you everything that I do on a Sunday, but I got way too behind with everything else. I had no time to record. So I'm gonna hopefully show you guys a Monday in my life. Last night, I looked at my Notion plan and I made a little list in my phone of like what I wanted to do today and at what times. And then I could not wake up this morning because yesterday I mistakenly, well, I did it on purpose, but I drank two cups of coffee, which if you guys saw my recent burnout video, I talk about how bad that is for me and I really can't drink two cups of coffee in one day. So I had a hard time falling asleep and then I had to take a sleeping pill because I could not sleep and I needed to wake up early. But then I was way too tired to wake up this morning and since I had no like scheduled thing, it was more just I needed to wake up so I could get everything done today. I overslept my alarm because my brain was like, eh, who cares about whatever you need to get done. So today I had my coffee and now I'm having my Magic Mind little matcha latte, which does not make me feel like that. I definitely felt jittery a lot yesterday. So just goes to show that even if you know something, it doesn't mean you take your own advice. But that was a big kick in the butt saying, Paige, you literally just talked about this. Why are you making your own mistakes again? But that's just the reality. Hmm. This tastes a lot better the second time. I have been enjoying work a lot because of my new laptop. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I talked about how my old laptop broke, unfortunately, and I had to get a new one. I used all of my credit card points. I had exactly enough points to get everything I needed for the laptop. So I'm going to eat my rice, drink my magic mind, and then jump on this call. Other things going on today are I have some work I need to do for Julie and then I have to check in with her this afternoon. So I need to get as much as I can done before that. I also really need to get groceries. I was gonna go buy them in person, but now I think I might order them. But I also need to run to Walmart because I have to get cat litter for Boba because my mom needs cat litter for her and then run by my mom's house. So I'm thinking I can do that later after my call with Julie, like maybe late afternoon, early evening or something. But I was hoping to get that done earlier. I also wanted to work out today, but I really don't see that happening. So maybe I'll push that to tomorrow, but we'll see. It's just hard. I like work all weekend and then I tell myself like, oh, I need to take a break on a weekday. And like, you know, that's the plus side of working for yourself is I can kind of like move my schedule around. Like I could have gone grocery shopping today, but then I oversleep and then I'm like, well, great. And I don't want to stay up late because I'm trying to fix my schedule. So I try to go to bed before like 1am every night, but 1am is still too late because then I sleep till like 930, which I did today. So I don't know. So far I've drank my coffee. I showered, I'm eating my breakfast and then I have my call in 15 minutes. I was hoping to get like two and a half hours of work done for Julie's stuff before my call, but obviously that didn't happen because I woke up two and a half hours late. So it's all good though. Let's just get ready for this call and I'll check in with you guys after. I 
just finished lunch and I have another meeting with Julie this time to work through the business development plan and marketing plan that we're creating for this company that she has the contract with. So I just wanted to hop on because the funniest thing I've been thinking about lately is how I used to say, oh, I liked engineering, but I just hated consulting. But now I do consulting and not engineering. <laughs> and I'm realizing that it wasn't the consulting it was the employer portion as well as the engineering portion so just goes to show that it takes time to figure out what you like and what you don't like and now it's more clear to me that i really just want to be my own boss be an entrepreneur and i want to do consulting just in a different way and not engineering <laughs> so just just my thoughts for today but i'm gonna hop on this call with julie and see what we can figure out and I really still need to get groceries so I think I'm gonna do go get groceries after this and then figure out what to do next because this day is not gone to plan at all question is that the email that we're gonna recommend they change their email stuff to okay see if you were gonna have the logo on the same side then I feel like it needed it shouldn't be black but since it's on the opposite side I think black is cleaner and easier to read Oh my goodness, it has been quite the day. I just finished my call with Julie and then I was like trying to figure out what to do because I wanted to grocery shop today and I just didn't have time to do that. And I also was planning on making dinner tonight, like a whole lemon chicken orzo soup and all this stuff. But yeah, that didn't work out either. So now the plan is I'm running to Zaxby's to get dinner for me and Oliver because I just can't tonight. I literally cannot deal. And then I'm gonna run into Aldi right across the street super fast to just get like the bare essential things that I needed. Because once I decided I wasn't making the dinner tonight, I like need way less stuff. So I'm just gonna grab a few things because I'm just trying to set up Oliver with some food and groceries before I leave to go to Stewart on Wednesday because I won't be here to like cook for him and stuff and I'm taking his car so he won't be able to like leave the house. So I wanna make sure he has like groceries and everything. And he said he would go tomorrow, but I really want Zaxby's and I just, I cannot eat ramen or frozen food again tonight. I can't do it. Not that Zaxby's is better, but it just sounds better cause it's like fresh and I'm not the one making it. So we're gonna go get some Zaxby's, go to Aldi, head back home. And then I need to continue working on my stuff for Julie because we are trying to get basically the whole business development plan done like tonight for her meeting tomorrow and then I need to finish the marketing plan and the website recommendation plan by Thursday so yeah there's like still so much to do I'm like kind of freaking out but it's gonna be fine it's all good we'll get it done and unfortunately it just kind of got to the end of the wire with not everything done but you know it's fine it'll all get done and then after Thursday, we'll be done. Me and Julie can hang out, hopefully like grab a drink or something, get some dinner and like chill. <laughs> and then we're gonna talk about her stuff, like her social media plan and her coaching and everything. And I'm gonna help her develop a plan for that and go through the story brand framework and all this stuff with her. And then I'm going to come home probably Thursday night, I guess. And yeah, then Friday I can focus on YouTube, hopefully, because I'm gonna need to do editing for Saturday's video. I also like need to edit an entire video before Wednesday. And also on top of that, record two videos on Wednesday because that's the day my mom's not gonna be at home. So like, I don't know how I'm gonna do all that. This week is just gonna be crazy and I just don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna have to be very productive and good with my time. And me and Julie keep saying this and it's like the only thing keeping me sane and probably her as well, but once we get to a point where we have finished this plan and the marketing plan and all of that, the good thing about it is although it's taking a ton of time right now, then we'll literally have a framework for anyone else we wanna work with in the same industry, like in the construction industry, which is where Julie's contacts are. So hopefully what that looks like is all of this being built out and we're able to work with other companies very easily without as much input and effort in the beginning like we're putting in right now, because we'll already have all the templates and we'll know the questions we need to ask and all of that. So I don't know, that's what I'm telling myself to stay safe. minutes.
and so I'm very proud of myself. I got only the things I needed. I did buy double tater tots because they have these different like circle tot things that looked really good. But we're heading to Dollar Tree, so we're just gonna literally run in there. I'm right next to Zaxby's right now, and I think it's like five minutes down the road to Dollar Tree, and then I can loop back around, hit up Zaxby's, and then head home. So hopefully this is a quick trip. I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. I've acquired my papers, which is good. got off the phone with Julie. We talked through everything that happened with today's meeting that she had and everything seemed to go really well. So I'm very optimistic about Thursday's meeting, which I'm going to Stewart for, but yeah, there's just a lot to do before then. I'm trying to catch up on some of my own YouTube stuff so that I'm ready for the meeting on Thursday and I need to prepare a little bit before I drive down to Stewart tomorrow to finalize everything with Julie, but I need to marinate the chicken for tonight's dinner. So I'm going to do that really quick and then we will finish YouTube hopefully and get that video scheduled for tomorrow. Then we can eat dinner. Then we can go back to working on Julie's stuff and hopefully get everything ready so that I'm prepared for us to brainstorm tomorrow and finalize everything for the website recommendations for the company. That is so scary. When your friend imitates you as a memoji. Oh my gosh, the wink. Wait, why do you make my beauty mark look so pretty? <laughs> sleep schedule is screwed <laughs> i just finished packing everything i'm ready for the day i mean in a chill way ready i am going to just rammed my new laptop i'm completely changing my schedule for the day because number one i did not get as much done yesterday as i needed to get done not that i wanted to that i literally needed to i was supposed to work out all the pieces of the presentation that me and Julie are presenting tomorrow and I mean it's already mostly done but I needed to work on it a bit more. I have some notes from a few times we talked that I need to like work through and fix but I was so busy trying to get the vlog out because I just was not productive yesterday because I barely slept so I did not get everything done. So what we're thinking now is I was planning on going to my mom's to record my budget video and the main reason I wanted to record it today, well, two reasons. First of all, three reasons. <laughs> I need to post it on Saturday, first of all. Second of all, my mom leaves the house only like a few days a week for work. And today and tomorrow are the only days that she's going to the office. So I have like the house to myself to record because I like recording when no one's home. But I'm going to be in Stewart tomorrow. So today was the only day. So that was the second reason why. And then the third reason was because, what was the third reason? Oh, because my YNAB subscription was ending and I thought it was ending tonight, but it actually ended last night. So I went and took screenshots just in case because I was worried it was gonna end early and I didn't exactly know what the timing was. 
and it's a good thing I did because they canceled it last night. So I think I just read the initial date wrong, but whatever. So point is, since I already have the screenshots, I can't use YNAB anyways. And the other thing is, Julie let me know this morning that tomorrow morning she's going to go to a hair appointment at like 9 a.m. So I'm going to have her house to myself. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just record the video at Julie's tomorrow instead of recording it at my mom's today. So that makes my day a lot easier. She did tell me, she's like, oh, if you want to record at my house, let me know. That's totally fine. But I'm like, oh, I can't record when someone else is there. I'm so awkward. Although I feel like I'd be less awkward with her, but maybe not. I have no idea. I probably would still be awkward. So <laughs> luckily, I can just record tomorrow when no one's at her house. So I'm gonna push my recording till tomorrow and then the video I wanted to post next week that I also was gonna record at my mom's today. So I'm actually just gonna push that out to next week and if anything, I'll just post a vlog before that one and like push my schedule out a little bit because I'm very backlogged on vlogs and I know that you guys like them. That's kind of my plan for now. So what I'm gonna do then is try to work out as much of this presentation as I can right now so I can leave for Julie's at a reasonable time and get there and be ready to start immediately working with her on it. So mainly all I want to do today is work on our contract we have. Guys, I'm feeling really good about it. I think they're going to re-sign and I'm hopeful that it's going to mean a good chunk of the contract for me. So I'll keep you guys posted, but yeah, things could change really, really fast. I don't know what's going on right now. And that's kind of why I'm going down there is to meet the company in person and get to know them since in the future I would be working more closely on the contract. Whereas right now I'm kind of just helping Julie with the contract. Summer rain on the window Watch the time float on Cool it blows a memento 